It's not just something. Everything is wrong. And what is everything? Doc, if you want me to work in this hospital and produce results for you, everything I need to work as a doctor, I need it. I need them. I can't work like this. You still haven't uh, told me the problem. There is a woman bleeding to death in that room, that ward. Now there is nothing to stop it. I, I don't even have anything. I don't have medicine. Nothing. No, no material. Nothing to work on. Nothing to stop the bleeding. I, I, I don't. I don't understand it. Is that all the problem? What other problem were you expecting to hear from me? The other day, a woman was rushed into this hospital. There was nothing to, to not, not even money, not, nothing to buy something to, to work on her. I, I used my money to buy medicine to give to her. If, 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 if not, that she would have died in this hospital. That is not supposed to be like that. That's not how some hospitals are being run. <clears throat> it seems I uh, stand up from this seat for you to come and sit. Uh, since you are willing to spend your own money in this hospital, I don't blame you. Do you know how much? Medical materials cost in the market. How much do you think the wretched people in this uh, community pay for medical services? If the wretched people here are not paying, why did you now open this place? So we should all sit and watch them die? Doctor, that's not what I'm saying. The things I need to work as a doctor, provide them for me. I need them. Hospitals cannot function very well without the materials, without the equipment, without the things they need to work. As a doctor, I need those things. My doctor, I don't blame you. Uh, I can see you're still young and the zeal for this medical profession is still running hot in you. Maybe by the time you get to my level in this field, you will know what it takes to run a hospital. You and I alone cannot change the affairs of this country. If you think you're not satisfied with the way things are run in this hospital, I will suggest you tender your resignation letter. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Good luck, my dear. What nonsense. Cut off these young doctors, they don't know what hospital costs to run for this. Tell me you have this, you don't have that. <laughs> I want to buy a few things. Uh, like what? Just baby things. I want uh, tea, milk, um, two loaves of bread, and sugar. You have sugar? Mm -hmm, of course, sir. Uh -huh. um, everything you give me, 2,100 only. Everything you give me two thousand and one hundred only. I don't even want this 
your crocodile tears. Start going. Leave now. Leave, 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 leave. This, this, this animal, you, 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 you came here to spoil my shop for me. Leave here, please. What's that now? Eh? What kind of rubbish is this? Every day you come and buy something and you tell me your husband is not around. Master, please go. Who is that person that wants to break my door this afternoon? Who is this person? Who is that? Good afternoon, Good afternoon, How are you? Welcome. Good afternoon. Your vomit has exploded beyond control. Huh? So, this house has become your house. No. Eh? No. Tell me. My door has become your door. When you and your wretched husband are owing me a whole one year rent. I didn't know you were the one knocking at the door. I thought it was Mama Kitchen. <laughs> Where is he? Who? Who else than the poor man that stays in this house with you? You mean my husband? He, um, he. He has gone to work. Mm. Mm. You are hiding him and you are saying that he has gone to work. No problem. Okay. When he comes back, tell him that I came to know when he is packing out of my house. Because the next time I will come, the next time I will come in here. Okay. Listen, calm down, okay? No, you're telling me to calm down. You bash my car, you're telling me to calm down. Look, look at it now. You can, as you can see, it's my own that got spoiled, not yours. You, eh? you, your down. car got spoiled. You hit me from behind, and you're telling me that your car got spoiled. Mr. Man, I've had a rough day. It's not. It has not been easy for me. Just calm down. Take it easy. I don't even know why you're shouting. Why are you shouting? Is, is it not my own that you I'm that, shouting. That got bashed? No, you said I'm shouting. Okay, just wait a minute. I will deal with you now. J just wait. Got damaged. Nothing happened to his own. Because he felt his reach, he went and called the police, then pounded my car. I said I should go and repair his car and pay for his damages. When nothing happened to his car, nothing. What damages? I thought you said nothing happened to his car. Single thing, nothing. It was even my own that got damaged. You know, police with money. They said I must go. 
go and pay. I got angry and I left the car for them. If they are tired, let them bring it back. I don't, I don't still have that. I don't even have that strength to call and fight with anybody. Let them. I left we put the key with them. Please, honey. I'm very, very hungry. Is there anything in this house to eat? I want to eat. There is nothing, no. The last curry that was in this house, I drank it with the baby. You know I'm breastfeeding. It was not even enough. It is well, honey. It is not well, no. That lady was here today. She threatened to kill us out of this house. Eh? And the worst part is, she said that she's not interested. We, renewing our rent, we do That's the latest one. You said you're going to borrow money from the hospital's manager. <coughs> Dr. Ndudi is a very stingy man. He cannot even give a common cup of water to his mother, let alone someone else. Huh? Huh? I told him he didn't listen to me. He didn't even behave last if I was talking to him. I got angry and I, I dropped my resignation letter. I resigned. <laughs> You did what? I resigned, honey. You resigned? Yes. <laughs> Are you joking or no? Honey, I am not joking. I am tired of this kind of life. Look at what you just said. That you and my baby drank Gary. Breastfeeding woman drinking Gary with my baby. Yeah? Honey. I am tired of this kind of this kind of life. This squalor life we are living. People pitying us. We pitying ourselves. Look at you drinking Gary. And Mecca, if you think the best thing to do was to throw away what you had already because you were planning to give us a better life. And it's the best. That's the best way for me. It's the best thing you okay? do. That's the only way I know I can come out of this this poverty. I can't continue going out every morning, coming back with nothing. As if I'm not working. Listen, calm down. Calm down, everything will be fine. Like this? Yes. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> to start something else. What is that? What I want to start is not the problem. But what is the problem? The money to start it. Money, the money to start it is my problem. I've checked around around us here. I can't see any pharmacy shop. And you know I can handle that very well. The only hospital around here, they don't even have good medicines. People can go and pick for themselves. 
So I think if we should start something like that, it's only to give us good money. At least to feed ourselves. Hmm? But the problem now is the money to start it. That's just my problem. Mm. Maybe I should take up a teaching job. Eh? At least to support you. Teaching job with my son. Honey, if you take up a teaching job, will you be striping my son from the back while you teach? Eh? I love you and my son. I don't even want you to go through that stress. I don't really know what to do. Eh? What are we going to do? I have an idea. Maybe we should go to Uncle Adibi and ask him for a loan. You remember the last time the wife uh, had typhoid? You treated her for free. Let's try our local. You don't know. Maybe he will give us. He's your uncle now. For some time now, I have taken up a policy not to lend anybody money because lending people money brings out attack. Uh, <coughs> Chief, I, I have not actually come for you to lend me money. I, I am planning to open a pharmacy shop. I've looked around us. We don't have anything like that here. 
if our people want to buy medicine, they, they, they travel to other city to, to go and get it. I believe that if I can open something like that, I, chief, I, I will do well because it's something I know, I know how to do very well. I believe it will work, sir. I, I, all I need is, all I need is just the money to, to open it. If I, if I can get the money, I will open it and I will do well. Um, let me tell you, the issue of money is not what one will stand up and take a decision. Moreover, I am not alone in this house. My wife is involved. So I will meet with my wife and discuss with her, then we we'll take up a decision. So we are expected to be back here tomorrow. Okay, Chief. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. I, I will come tomorrow. Sir. Thank you. Yes. This is what we are praying for. Yes. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Chief, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Madam, thank you. I didn't even invite you into my room. You just burst in like someone who has lost his senses. Remove these things and throw them out. Hey, 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 touch anything in this house, I will send you to jail that you till next year, December, you will not see this guy. Don't try me. I say remove these things. Hey, 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 hey. Don't move the nature. Step back. Step! Okay, since you don't want him to remove you from here, pay up your rent because I know you don't have money. So it's because of my um, rent. That's why you bash into my house like her senses is no longer working. You Bring don't have sense anymore. Bring it now. Who doesn't have sense? Sorry for the inconveniences. Please bear with us. I should bear with you. You are here talking to me to bear with you. When you knew that this is going to happen and I have a lot of millions of naira bank with you in your bank and I cannot get my money out and you are telling me to bear with you. Chief, as it stands now, there is absolutely nothing I can do. But, as the bank manager of the branch, I will try my possible best to make sure that your account is regularized. Um, 
and to come back with a good feedback from Central Bank of Nigeria. But I doubt if you can exceed the withdrawal of 100,000 naira. In as much as that, I will still do my best to make sure you get your money. Are you sitting down here telling me that I will not get my money out of your bank? My sweat, my own money I'm talking about here, the money that I lost in your account, that is quite impossible. Tell me another thing. Tell me what I should hear. Chief, take it easy. As soon as I get report from Central Bank, I will get back to you. But as for now, there is nothing I can do. Manager, let me tell you. All I need is my money. I'm not in short of my money. My millions of naira in your bank that I imported into your hand. If I go after this money and I didn't get it, believe in me, I will come after you. I will come after you. Now, this is the door. Out! Okay, Chief. Please, take it easy. Have a nice day, sir. What a rubbish statement. And I took my millions. I can only get 100,000. No, no. The bank is joking. They are joking. Honey? Oh! <laughs> You're here. How are you doing? I see you're working. Hmm? You're working. Oh, what? How is it? Hi. How are you? Guess what? Come on, the game's slow.
if it is about the money. I think I have a few suggestions to make. Which suggestions do you have to make? Uh, maybe we should sell off some of our properties. Yes, we can always have them back. Once our debts have been settled. That is the suggestion you want to make? Yes. I am talking about my money that has been lost to the bank. And you are here suggesting for me to sell off the properties that I have. The ones that I'm looking at. Which means we will sell off this house and go and live outside. Yeah? It, it, it's better I die than go inside. God forbid you will not die. You will not die, my husband. See. Happening to me. The 
was this one I was born This is how it seems to be Talking as if I don't visit you anymore. Uh, I agree to visit you. I don't actually make that better. You know, the last time we saw about it, and it's too dead, you can manage. If I'm not mistaken, it's about two more seconds. Now, it is work that is pursuing us. Uh, yeah. It is work. But, but, but at least have to be resting because all works are not. Uh, um, Uncle. Uncle, I am here to see you. I want to see you for something very important. I... Uncle, please read this. You know I can't read it. Take it, don't explain yourself. That's the problem. Talk to me. Uncle, it is my father's brother, our chief. It is chief. Uncle. You know there is a saying in our language that when a man wakes up in the morning and fire is pursuing him, he should run for his dear life because you don't know if the fire have developed teeth overnight. It is something that is pursuing me that have made me to come and see you this morning, uncle. It is my father's brother, chief. When I left where I was working in the hospital, I wanted to open my own pharmacy. I wasn't having the money to open it. I went to him. I pleaded with him to lend me some money to start it up, which he did. He gave me 500,000 Naira. I appreciated him so much. In fact, uncle, I asked him, when will I return back this money? He should give me time. He said no, that I am his brother's son, that he cannot do something good for his brother's son and ask him to bring it back. Uncle, to be honest with you, I appreciated him very well. I thanked him and the wife. And I went home, begin to struggle, begin to hustle. I know what it took me to build my pharmacy the way it is today. When I was building it, so many people in this village laughed at me. They said I am doing rubbish, that this pharmacy will not stand. But as God may have it, look at it today. I succeeded. Now, the day before yesterday, my father's brother, chief, came to my pharmacy and was telling me that I should come and make an... I, I, I should come and tell him how much I've made from the hospital. In fact, he's demanding that I should come to his house and bring my account book. Uncle, what is, what is he actually demanding from you? That I should come and make an account for him. I should tell him how much I've made for three, four, five years. I've been suffering. Did you... I've been suffering to build my pharmacy. I should come and make an account for him and give him his, and give him his own dividend. Did you sign any agreement with him? Okay, I didn't sign any agreement with him. If I signed any agreement with him, I would let you know the same way I've just told you that I he gave me 500,000. I never signed any agreement with him. I am surprised. In fact, I was surprised when this man brought this letter to me, telling me that he said I should come to his house. That if I don't come, that he will use court injunction to come and remove me, push me out. Chase me out from my own pharmacy. 
Uncle, uncle, please. He's looking for trouble. He's looking for trouble. I cannot do that. I will not. That's why I'm here to plead with you to go and talk to him. You know what happened? Let that not bother you much. Just take the money for your life for you. And ask him. Top something on it and give it to him. Maybe it's what he's planning to do. Then let her come and tell me. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to talk to him. Uncle, I will do that. But if he, if he refuses to collect that money, Uncle, because I can't give him my, I can't give him my hand, my sweat. I cannot go. I can't divide my pharmacy and give him one. Or divide how much the amount I've made from the pharmacy and give him. I cannot. Chief, I seriously I don't understand uh, what is going on. I said let me ask. Are we quarreling? So if you have not received that letter, you will not have come. You see human beings? Have you forgotten how you, you were looking when you came here for that money? Did I ask you questions? But I gave you the money. Uh, Chief, <clears throat> if it's all about the money you gave to us, uh, we have it here and 100,000 naira we um, add to it. Please take it. Thank you very much. But the one I don't understand is you threatening to close my pharmacy shop. Uh, seriously, I I see that as uh, very ridiculous. It sounds so ridiculous to me. So it is my husband that has become. So ridiculous, right? I, I, I didn't say that. No! Let me tell you this. If I had not approved of him giving you that money, do you think you would have gotten it? Hey, don't you know by now, hunger would have killed you and your wretched. No, 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 You don't need to own him. Leave him! Let him talk. Has taught him how to insult those that fed him. Let him talk! Auntie, no. It's not like that. We didn't come to quarrel with you and the chief. He came to me, please. It's not like that. It's okay. Now, listen. I have made my estimate about what that fantasy has made in the last two years. Firstly, you have finished your own building, which cost not less than 3 million naira. You bought a brand new car, which cost not less than 1 million naira. You are halfway finishing your hospital building, which has gone through not less than 3 million naira. And all the monies that you have spent that I do not know about. Rebecca, what I am telling you is that all money that is accrued to me, I want you to pay back. I have listened to you talk. Before now, I used to respect you because of what you've achieved in this life. But it's, it breaks my heart to let you know that you're nothing but a common thief! You're a thief. And 
if you think you will use your influence and wealth to intimidate me and my family, you failed. If you think because you're rich, if you think you use it to collect my pharmacy, my wife's and I sweat. You cannot do that. You failed. Read my lips. Read it very well and pick the words one after the other. You cannot do it. Chief, you cannot get that pharmacy. You lied. Honey, let's leave. Let's leave here. If you have finished writing, let's leave. Nine. He refused to collect the money, even with the hundred thousand I talked on it. He refused to collect it. He said he would not collect it. That he's ready to fight me because I insulted him. Do they insult him? Yes. I insulted him. I told him he's nothing but a common criminal. He's a criminal. No wonder. That is how he made his money. He's a thief. He collects people's things by force. You shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said that at all. Uncle, I will say more than that. I will do that. I will do it more. In fact, I will do more of that. I will, I will, Uncle, I am ready to do anything with that man. Whatever he needs, I will give it to him. You shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have insulted him. Eh? I'm afraid this might get out of hand. Uncle, if you like, let it get out of leg. I am ready for him. If his hand will do it, if his leg, anything he wants, I will give it to him, Uncle. I am ready for that man. He's a thief. I can't, I can't leave him. I can't leave him to eat my money. It's alright, it's alright. I will talk. He to can't him. take my pharmacy. The pharmacy is suffered. Don't worry. I will talk. I, to I him. suffered for it. I will make sure that this problem is solved. Understand? I said I will talk to you him. You better talk to him. Talk to him because I would, I will kill him. Calm down. Don't. You remember that he was the one that helped you when you are in need. So, Don't. so calm down. Because he helped me, he, he should come and collect my uh, pharmacy. He should come and collect it. He had to reap where he didn't sow. It was when I was suffering, suffering, carrying drugs, going to people's houses to beg them to, to buy. Even when I was telling them to come and patronize me, what, what, was he there? He wasn't there. After suffering, I my wife, every. American honey. You see this drink? It is only in America you will see it. It's called American honey. Hmm? American yes. This drink, you will hardly see it here. Eh? In America, abroad, this drink, as you say, and we have tested it, right? It is $250. And when you turn the money into our naira here, yeah, it's about uh, 39,300 naira, oh. which can feed one poor family in the boat. Yeah? You see it now? You see how it is? It's called honey. <laughs> chief, chief. Hey, my brother, drink. Drink, love, we have more. <laughs> this drink is testing abroad, abroad. <laughs> you see, my brother, <laughs> this is the way I spend my money. The one you eat inside your stomach is the one that you have. Any amount of money you pack in the bank does not belong to you until you withdraw the money of such money. Withdraw yourself. Well, but you people are not drinking now. <laughs> I'm okay. I've had enough. Just for you. Chief, listen. I was saying that, um, saying that when something greater than the cricket, hmm, Make the cricket in his home. That cricket is forced to move out. 
Yes. Um, something that needs to be here today is the issue between you and the um, doctor. Uh, which doctor are you talking about? Mm. Our brother. Yeah, Mike. Well, there's nothing between both of us. He came to me and uh, told me that uh, you wanted to take his pharmacy. <laughs> oh. hey. So it has now become his pharmacy. Right. Eh? So now it is his pharmacy, isn't it? I gave him all the money that he used in opening that pharmacy. He did not put even a cobble into it. Well, the fact remains that the pharmacy belongs to me. And that is why I want to take it back because that young man is very greedy. Can you imagine? Very wicked. Eh? This world is wicked and bad. When you help people, they will not turn against you. That's huh? what he said the same thing to you. So I don't know both of you who is greedy here. But I'm with you. I understand everything. But I, I will want you people to settle. They should be able to figure out the best. It's your cousin. So I need to be protected very well. So that this will be right. It's okay. It's alright. We will settle. We will settle. No problem about that. Anyway, drink on. Let us talk uh, about more important issues. Chief, <laughs> chief. <laughs> 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 Be fine, I is my son. He's fine. Oh, it's okay. 
And the last time you came to my house, I apologize to everybody that I didn't have time to meet with everyone that I'm supposed to meet with. And um, that is the reason I came to your house today. Yes. Um, my brother, I know that things are very hard. Though I don't know the financial strength of this family for now, but uh, I think with this I have here now, it will add value to support the family. Chief, thank you so much. <laughs> May God bless you. Thank you. In fact, you have done a great help in this family. Yes. God will continue to bless you. Thank you thank very you. much. Well, like I told you, it is God that gives. Though that aside, um, part of the reason I came to you is because of my issue with uh, Dr. Mecca of which I know you are aware that I have uh, arrested him with the police. Mm. His wife ran down here and uh, explained everything to me, the whole matter, she explained it to me, she explained it to me that you need to see the entire family. And I have let everybody know about the city. It is good. And um, this is what we're supposed to do before now. Though I like what is happening now, because it would have been of any use if we have gathered in the family level and this little boy would cheat me out of what belongs to me. So it's good the way things are unfolding. And as a matter of fact, when decision will be taken on this, I will count on you. Mm, you don't need to tell me that. You know, as the elder in this very family, I have to support something that is right. <laughs> that is good. You have spoken very well. And now that you have said this to my hearing, I will go home with my two eyes closed and I will have a very nice sleep. Believing that you will not allow the money that I invested in that business to run out of me. God forbid. You will receive your money, we never lose. Trust me. Chief Chief. Yeah, you know, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You see, this money I gave to you today is just a small thing to compare to what will be coming to you if you support me to take my pharmacy shop back. Because if you hear the amount of money realized from that shop on daily basis, you will do no other thing than to say, Chief, go and take your shop back. Eh? Yes! Hey. I believe you me. The lifestyle of your family will change. Your wife will begin to make good soup for you from the proceeds or returns that I'll be giving to you, stage by stage. This is for me. This is for me. Yes, Chief. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And this. And this too. Yes. Chief, this is the kind of drink that kills the wolves in the stomach. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, my brother. Uh, Biche, you know that if one is covering a bone in the throat and equally want to swallow a ball of gari, it's either the ball of gari will push down the bone in the throat or the bone in the throat will get hold of the ball of gari. That is true. Good. That is very true. All is not well. I am sure you are aware that my case with doctor is coming up this weekend. And all I need is your support. Chief, we know that you gave doctor that money with which he opened that pharmacy, which is now claiming to be his own. You heard it right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Eh, so what are we talking about? There is nothing to talk about. There is no discussion here. We all know the truth. Um, Uche, I have always known that I will count on you anytime any day. Chief, since doctor opened that pharmacy, he has not come to tell me, take this one naira, take this two naira. This leg has been paining me for donkey years. And doctor sees me limping and limping all around the village. He has never called me, say, offer, come and take medicine for your leg. <laughs> Chief, those who spend their money on their own should learn to stay on their own too. That is it. Yes. That is yes. it. Um, <laughs> I am happy. I am happy that such words of wisdom do come from the mouth of elders like you. Thank you very much. So next the weekend come. You have no problem. I, Ofo, will come out and speak the truth that everybody knows. You gave him money to open that pharmacy. Yeah. This wine alone you have given me. <laughs> Nobody has ever given me wine like this. Please pay me visits more often. I will. Please. I will. My people, I greet you. A maker came to me and told me that the chief wanted to take his shop. I wasn't happy like that, and I don't really want anybody outside the family to hear that the two brothers of Omos are having disputes over a piece of property. Then I took the pen to go to Chief's house to confirm the truth and know how to settle the matter. Then when I reached, Chief told me everything in details that he gave a maker to start up the medical business. And they did agreement that whatever comes, to that business that every month that is giving his own share, that's half of the money. I never agreed on a thing like that. We didn't. And it's only a fool that will agree on such thing. Because I am maker, I am not a fool, and I will not take that from you. Hmm. Hmm. Are you calling Chief a lie? I never said a thing like that. But all I'm telling you is that I cannot give Chief my pharmacy. I cannot accept that I will give him my pharmacy or I will share anything from that pharmacy with him. Listen, listen. Chief is not a fool, neither a liar. If you say that you want a claim, then you should allow him to have a claim. Wait, wait, wait. What are we driving? Eh? What are we driving? The truth that we all know is that you have deliberately refused to pay back his money. That is the truth. Which money are we talking about? Which money are we talking about? Is it not the same money that we brought back to Chief and Chief refused to collect it? He refused. We even added extra 100,000 on top of it. He refused. Oh. Now that the business is flourishing, he wants to take the business. Shut up your mouth and sit. Shut up and sit down. Which woman have you seen speak here today? Eh? Sit down. Nan, you people were not there when me and my uh, husband were hungry. You people were not there. We were begging food from one street to another. Nobody saw us there. Now that the business is flourishing, the business is now picking up. We are feeding well. We are not, more, we are not more, uh, beggars. We don't beg food anymore. Chief wants to collect the business from us. And you, a little judge rat, we stand there. Open your stinky, smelly mouth and call my husband a thief. Who are you? If your husband is not a thief, why would he be going about dragging what is not going to happen? Will you sit down? Are you a woman? What's wrong with you? Um, here is the photocopy of the check that I issued him that he went to the bank and met the drawer that he used the money to set up the pharmacy business. You and your wife can call me a thief. Change this money. But this you cannot do. That still doesn't prove that you and I 
had an agreement, or there is a written agreement where you sign, and I sign that the money I will make from my pharmacy will be shared into two, or I will give you my pharmacy in return. No, I did not. Mr. Man, I am not here for you to give me back the money that you owe me. But I am here to let our kinsmen know that I am the one that spent the money for the opening of the pharmacy shop. That that shop belongs to me, and I want to collect the shop back. Chief, you are greedy. You are a greedy man. And it is that greed that will kill you. Watch it. You're dying. You're dying. Wait, 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 wait. Offer. You came to offer. I didn't there. Chief, you came to my house the other day to give me money to support me for the case meeting. And I know you must have gone around to all our case men to bribe them one by one. I came <coughs> I did not support you. I can see why you're for. And I didn't there. I have killed the boots out of their mouth. You watch your mouth. No, it's there that ah, he came back. He knows what evil. This young man has a mouth. And he must lick the fruit of his head. I wash off my hands from this matter. Because I don't support evil. I, he came back, is off from this place. Thank you. Mm. Since it's like this, I want to let you know one thing. It's over my dead body. I said, I, Emeka, is over my dead body. Will I allow you to take over my own pharmacy, my sweat? Oh, no. I will not allow that to happen. Not when my wife. My children, my entire family, we are still alive. That I will allow you to take that pharmacy, my own business away from me. No. If you like, go around the whole world, the whole country, the whole community, state, everywhere. Look at them. Bribe them with millions and trillions and dollars. I will not allow you to take my sweat away. You all cannot take my pharmacy away. You said it. You have said it over your dead body. And so shall it be. Allah. You love your life. Let my father. What are we going to do on this matter now? Do we go to court? No, 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 I don't think so. Maybe I should invite our pastor. I think it's right time to seek God's counsel on this matter. Yes. Thank you for asking. Um, Sister Neka, maybe that's not the right question to ask. The right question would be, what does God want you to learn from this? <laughs> what does God want me to learn from someone trying to sap away what we labored for? <laughs> um, I see. Maybe you have been trusting in what your hands has achieved. And that is not the right thing to do. The right thing to do is just 
believe in God. Trust in Him. Avoid chief. Just tell your husband to willingly give chief the pharmacy to avoid problem, to avoid anything that will take life. Please. Pastor, that pharmacy took us a lot. We sacrificed a lot to make it grow. We toiled, we labored. At the point we were even starving ourselves, we went through hunger to make sure that the pharmacy grew. All of a sudden, Chief wants the pharmacy. How is it done? Where? How? Where? That's the... Um, sister, the decision of what to do is not all about material things. The only thing you and your husband will do is just to pray hard. Because I believe the God that gave you money to build that pharmacy will also give you money to finish the big projects of your hospital. I believe so. So, what I need from you and your husband is to pray hard. Okay? Forget about all these material things, material whatever that will put your life in danger. Just pray hard. Okay? Um, Sister Lega, I bless you. I bless you and your husband. Please, come and pray before I leave. Father Lord, I thank you for this day. Father Lord, I worship you only in me because you are the King of Kings, you are the Lord of Lords. Father Lord, I praise your name. Father Lord, I am here to declare upon this family that anywhere, anything they put their hands into, they shall prosper in Jesus' name. You came back! Ah. Oh, 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 oh. Chief. This one you are here at this early morning. I hope all is well. I want you to understand that whatever that chases a cockroach out of his hole early in the morning must be a serious issue. Uh, you know, readings are not uh, uh, good for thoughts this early morning. Yeah? It's not readings are better in the evening. Let us come inside, let us maybe know. Well, there's no need of going inside to talk. My message is best delivered while standing. Well, my ears are open. Okay. Marcy, the other day I came to this your house to offer you something that would change your poverty. But you rejected my generosity and threw it back to my face. And yesterday you stood before the whole family to slap me on my face, thereby standing before this little boy that I gave money to start up a business to tell me that I am not who you think that I am. I tell you of a truth. You have me to contend with. Hmm. Well, there are three types of people in this world. Hmm? The one are those who talk. Then the other ones are those who talk and do, those who do. If what you have dusted your boot up from your house to come here this morning is to find trouble, go back to your house. You cannot see trouble here, okay? You came back. You have my hand yes. to contend with. And I will also remind you that if a man brings out what makes him a man and you renounce into the wind, that same wind will scatter the urine, the urine and splash it on his face. Let me tell you, I, the chamber, I don't fear faces. I don't fear people. I stand on the side of the truth. I don't do like this. Hmm? 
go back home and do what is right. Hmm? Hmm? Is that what you said? Yes. No problem. The chicken thinks that he's smart and fast. That is why she is pecking for worms in the open sky. Not minding that the hawk is watching. That one day, the same hawk that is watching him in the open sky will come and peck him as food too. Uh, you have given a good description of yourself. You're nothing but a hawk. You are an animal whose this world does not belong to him. Oh, a common thief. You're nothing but a common thief. And what do we do to thieves? We naked them to dance around the market. And me, a maker, I will naked you, chief. I will make sure I naked you to dance around this world. Try me. You open this gutter you call your mouth to insult me in the public? You dare. If you dare, if you want of your finger, I mean, just one of your fingers, if it touches me, I would reduce you to nothing. Don't try me. Emeka, you have harvested where you did not cut it. Oh, and let me remind you, just be prepared to finish this war in a way that you will not forget. You cannot do anything. Listen, winds blow. Winds blow. But your own winds, you know, you're not a good wind. You're not a good, you're a bad wind. You cannot do anything to me. Chief, I said, you cannot do a mecca anything. Watch it. Mecca. <laughs> ah! Your destruction is on the way. Very, very sorry for me. Look at you. 
Somebody that I helped to become what he is. I say arrest him. Arrest him. Arrest him. Shut he up. Shut up. You make both of you your arm robbers. Are you proposing here to fool me here? Yes? No, officer. I said you should get him arrest. All of you are under arrest. My friend, sit down there and stop moving at the desk. Don't you know that you are here is a police station? Now you have known that it's not every man with something in between his legs is called a man. Look at me very well. If I decide you will stay here till your son does his traditional marriage. But I have not come to fight you, but to make a proposal to you. Can you go and make an account of all the monies that you have realized since that pharmacy was opened? Calculate all that is due for me and come and pay me. That is the only way you will be released from here. Very much for your answer. Are you crying because of this food? This idiot. You're crying because of this nonsense, man. Why are you crying? Well, I will stop. I mean, I will stop. How is the... Oh, I did not hear you, man. How is it now? The doctor said he would be better. to this man. Let's give this hospital to Chief. Hmm? Let the pharmacy belong to him. Let, let him take it. Huh? Give it to him. Mommy, I will not give him my pharmacy, not my sweat, not what you and what you and I suffer to. I can't give it to him. I can't give it to that man. A man that can do this kind of thing can equally kill. Hand it over to him, you said, Pastor. After all the labels, after all the sufferings, Pastor, you were the one who told us that being a Christian does not make us fools. Hmm. Yes, my dear. Wisdom is a defense. No fighting. Don't fight. Because if you should involve yourself in fighting, it might take your life. Pastor. Yes. Look, prosperity is not about what you have, but about what you are willing to give up. Don't you think that will make us look like foolish people? Oh yes. But God said he will use the foolish thing 
of this world to confirm I hope you do not bring me here to look at me. No, sir. I actually brought you here to <clears throat> tell you what Chief did to me in his presence. Now, listen to me, Anaka. I don't want to say anything about the money you are going to. If it's about the money you are going to, just... No, 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 no. no. I, nah, you are misunderstanding. What I brought you here to do today is uh, to witness what I'm about to do. That's the reason I brought you here. I brought you for you to witness it. to the pharmacy shop and uh, this is the document to the pharmacy shop I want you to take it if giving you all this will bring peace I want peace to reign <sighs> and I pray that God will help you to manage it Amen Well, yeah, you shouldn't have said the name. Because this little boy cannot walk in here to fool me. Do you think that by coming here to drop papers and key to an empty shop will entice me? What about the, the drops inside? Huh? Chief, if you open that shop, and the single bottle is missing. I mean, the single bottle is missing. Call me, I will replace it. Emeka? Well, let me tell you. If you think that you can enter here and fool me, you are not succeeding because I am not a fool. It is only a fool that you walk into his house and you drop the keys to an empty shop and he will take it from you. But I'm not a fool. I am not a fool in any way. So the best thing you will do here that will settle this matter is for you to go and get that money that you came into this house to collect. Because when you came into this house, I did not give you keys to an empty shop. I did not give you papers. It was money that I gave to you. And every money that this money has yielded for you in your life, I want you to go out now and bring the one that is agreed to me. Yes. That is the only way peace will ensure. I will forget about this whole thing. And if I may ask, how do you calculate that thing that accrued to you? Well, the money that is accrued to me that is due to be given to me is five million naira. And that's at the rate of a million naira every year. That's the only way peace will reign. Okay, if you said what has accrued to you is five million naira. I'll give it to you. Same time, same date next month. We'll meet in Uncle's house. I'll give you five million there. Ichi.
Slide for you. Look around. What do you think? This is nice. That's okay. That's it. Um, I hope this place is big enough to offset the level of the building. Yes, but Chief, you know, I didn't know about pharmaceuticals. Um, I'll print the valuers. Here is yours now. You do with it whatever you like. Huh? Yeah. Um, but Chief, you know you are coming now. You have this kind of place and you are keeping it from me. Yeah. Yeah. And well, just forget about that. You say you reserve your best shot. You know it. Okay, so it's a deal. Hmm? <laughs> ah! Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for all your support to us. You say may God bless you. Thank you very much. Mm, so it is not what we done today that is important. But what will we do tomorrow? Hmm? God back uh, your pharmacy shop to Chief. Yes, and I also agreed to give him five million by the end of this month. You see, Chief, we thank God. God has blessed us. He has given us our own hospital. Though it's small, but we pray that he continues to guide us and protect us. You know, so that our hospital will be honest, which I know to be God is very blessed you. Thank you, sir. He will continue to bless you. Amen. Amen. Your hospital will progress. Amen. He will rise and rise and rise and rise. Amen. That's all. God will protect you in your Amen. business. Amen. Jesus name. Amen. No. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, all this for me. Hey. Bigger ones are coming. Now, wow. Pray, in future, you will mm. get more than this. Oh, oh. <laughs> well. We're actually going somewhere to see one of our family friends. So, we say, let's come and see you first. They say, give one up to him. It's too much. Yeah. yeah. There's no need for counting the money here. 
if it is not complete, I know how to get the remaining balance. That's just that. Then, Chief, I hope you're happy now. I'm okay. I'm okay. I hope all your mind has been yearning for has been fulfilled. Yes. <laughs> That's good. Let me remind us, the others, and some of our kindred that are collecting bribe from him. Whatever money you made through an evil way must surely go by the wind. Don't, don't, don't tell that. Your mind are very, very bad. Ikamba, you have started again. You have started again. Watch your tongue. You have started again. Push you not worry yourself, leave him Is still high. It's alright. Uh, I will see to the new patient. But um, give the other one in what for four hours or an hour from now. Okay. Just go and check him again, okay? Okay, sir. Come in. Who 
is that man in that world? Sir, he's the man I told you that was referred to us by the general hospital. I want that man and the wife out of this hospital this minute. I said this minute. What are you waiting for? Get out! Take them out of this hospital. I don't want to come back there and see them. Do it right away! What can I do for you? Nega, please. I'm here to see your husband. Is he in? My husband is in actually. And I don't think he would want to see me. Please, Mom, Mama. It is about my husband. If nothing is done to him. He will die. Your husband ordered that he should be removed from his hospital. So I have come to. Don't you ask me to help you beg my husband, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. You want me to beg my husband to treat your husband so that he will be well. Okay, I can see. Not even a paracetamol. Hey. <laughs> will be given to your husband from my husband. Hey. He's in pain, right? He's in a big pain. Do you remember when we were hungry? We were begging food. You people took everything we were God for. And now he is in our shoes back then. Testing a bit of pain, <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden, he needed our help. <laughs> what goes around comes around, yeah. My husband cannot treat you, husband. Hi, hi, make a one, your mind.
And you said what happened? in the past he has done what he has done. See, I don't think they are wicked. If it's here, you, what would you say? Even if you refuse to say anything, we all know that Chief took his pharmacy on just say to him now will only make him angrier than he is already. Hmm? I don't know what we are going to do. away from me. Uh, doctor, we all know what happened. And if we continue to dwell in the past, we will only end up burying Chief. Oh. Listen, no matter the atrocity Chief has committed, he is still one of us. He's still our son. Okay. Let us not let him die. Hey! You don't want Chief to die. But you want my family and I to die? Eh? Honey, did you hear that? They want us to die, but you should leave. Hmm? Because you people thought we don't have money to give you. You felt we don't have money to give you. That is why you want us to die. My son. Eh? Who is your son? Who is your son? I don't want to hear that from you. That hole on your face, that cupboard on your face, you call mouth. Don't use it to call me your son. Because if I were to be your son, I don't think you would have turned your back at me. The bad does it. Yes. I don't want to hear what from you. When this whole thing started, you were the first person I ran to. But you turned your back at me. 
Now you're here sitting down calling me your son. Please, I don't want to insult you. Don't call me your son. <laughs> Please, doctor. <laughs> Whatever we may have done to you in the past, forgive us. <laughs> It was out of ignorance. <laughs> if Chief gets well, <laughs> believe me, we will pay back everything, everything we took from you. And that ignorance will kill you, <laughs> greedy woman. Thief. You say this is what your greed has brought to you. This is it. You don't want him to die. He will die! And you are going to die soon. <laughs> Please. Because you led him into this. Please. <laughs> you people should help me, I'm begging. <laughs> if Chief <Jim> dies, <laughs> where well, we iron to? And Chief will die! Eh? He will die. He will die! In fact, he will die! Your husband will die! And if he dies, you're going to follow. If I knew that this is the reason you all invited me here, I don't think I would have honored this invitation. And I want you. All of you should listen to me. Today will be the first and last you will invite me for this kind of meeting. Honey? Let's go. Let's go! Please, please, Nika. Please, Nika. You are a woman like me. Help me and beg your husband. Talk to your husband on our behalf, please. Nika, be good. Don't worry, don't worry. He will do something. I'll talk to him. Because I alone and my wife cannot thank them enough. We are thanking them sincerely for reviving my life. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Again, I want to personally thank you, Dr. Mecca, and my brother for personally forgiving me of all that I have done wrong to you. And I pray that this your hospital will multiply and multiply in Jesus' name. Amen. It's well. Um, to garnish this, our visit in your office today, tomorrow at the close of your work, I will make proper arrangements for every member of our family to come to your house to thank you in the morning. Uh, Nick and my wife, uh, you have to uh, prepare something to welcome them all. <laughs> yes, I want to do this for all of us to receive your forgiveness. Those that offended you, and those that I was the reason of their offending you. That is what I want to do so that absolute peace will come back to our entire family. Yes. Uh, 
Neka. Do you remember you are my wife? Yes. Hmm? So please, go show for me first. My doctor, my brother.